Oh my gosh, the pa- Oh my- Oh, you look so good! Good god dang greetings gremlins, how the hell are ya? It is me, Neveable, here with another reaction night! Today, we're here with episode 2 of Has Been Hotel, Radio Killed the Video Star. I hope you're ready because I sure as hell am. Last week we reacted to the song Poison, the week before we reacted to episode 1, so if you haven't seen those, go and check them out first. But beyond that, I am super super thrilled to get started and rolling into it, so let's not waste a second! <laughs> I'm so excited. I've been waiting so long. 16 plus? Nah, baby, this is an 18 plus channel. Oh, I love the intro so much. It's so fun. Yeah. <laughs> I like the ring in front of the hotel. Yippee! Oh, look at the little hops. Yeah! You got this. Easy. Exactly. Alright. Okay, but living for Angel Dust's phone case, hello? That's so fun. It's a little spider theme. A vibe for the ages. Ain't no silver line in this time, toots. Sure there is. So true. You just have to look a little harder for it. Well, while you're looking, the rest of hell is going nuts. Understandably so. Already freaking out about the news. Look at what's happening in the doomsday district. Oh, jeez. Uh, oh, new message from Valentino. I saw that. Just freaked out about the news too. Like I said, everyone's losing their shit. Yeah. Oh man. That's true. Sinners are desperate. Oh, <gasps> they're desperate, so they might. Try anything. Yeah. Anything. Yeah. This is the perfect time to recruit more sinners for the hotel. The music is so flowery and brilliant. Well, it's not like people are just going to show up on our doorstep. Knock knock. Oh, explosion. <gasps> is that our man? It is. It's our little guy. Oh dear. Not the oh dear mug. Who are you? Who am I? Who am I? <laughs> Two, four, six, oh, one. If you get that, I love you. Actually, you know what? First person to recognize what that's from is getting pinned. Only the first person, though. His design is so fun. Pentius just has a banger design. And you can't convince me, oh, he went spooky ghost boy. Hell yeah. Nifty. That's what I was thinking. Get him, get him. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Bro, the V's are not gonna accept you. So true. <laughs> oh my god, I get to see them, I get to see them, I get to- Drone? What a fucking TV show. What in the MILF Manor TLC bullshit is going on? Uh, all of them are hypnotized. Ew. Ooh. Oh, that was such a cool concept. Why she sound like that? Oh God! Oh no! Uh, 
okay but aren't they like an item aren't they also i really like vox's voice actor i'm not gonna lie i feel like it's not exactly what i imagined for him i feel like i expected kind of a similar filter to what alistor has but i guess that's a really cool way to show the difference in power dynamic between the two of them but the voice actor here is leaving nothing to be desired i really enjoy the inflection and the like confidence and the radiating i'm better than you energy it's very very well executed hey, hey, fuck my life. <laughs> mood live angel dust watch nine thousand dollars uh-huh uh-huh oh she's pretty my dear people we at vox tech enterprises have always love potion of innovation and now I love that he has one of his eyes lined with a different color. Uh-huh. Oh. Trust us with your safety. Ooh. Oh, he has a similar vibe with the different line color for his eyes. Try to get that bitch Carmilla on the books and cancel all my appointments today. I have a fire to put out upstairs. Oh, oh, <gasps> no way. He can teleport using electronics. That's fucking epic. That is so sick. I love that. That's such a cool character mechanic. Ooh, I wonder if it's just because it's his cameras or if it's just like any electronics around. Oh, that's so fucking tight. Also, damn, blood, you got all of that goopy shit all over the fabrics. What's Velvet gonna do? Is it Velvet or Velvet? I actually didn't pay attention. <laughs> All these background characters are really pretty too. Uh, no. Ooh. Unacceptable. You're fired. What is this? Damn. Wrist ruffles? Is it 1750? Burn it like the witches who wore it. Oh, velvet. Oh my god, she's so pretty. It is also velvet. Cool, cool, cool. Up in his tower, waiting for a flat-faced prince to calm him down. I'm dead. And uh, what's got him so out of sorts today? Ooh, I liked that Phil Turver's voice. You know the show can't wait for that unlucky bitch to pull herself back together. Melissa, get unlucky here. bitch? No, no. Hideous. I want a dog. Oh, that's so cool. Yes, that's the one. Oh, looks like you have everything under control here. Of course I do. Fuck you. Now chew. Okay, I love this bitch. She is such a fucking vibe. And just her music score that they have going on in the background matches her so well. Her hair is amazing and yummy. I love the three-tone moment that she has going on with that. And also that frilly dress on that model looked so amazing. I'm also still trying to figure out what the hell she means by pulling herself together. Is this a situation where like a sinner was mauled and like since it's not extermination, they can't die. So they just kind of have to like like pull themselves literally back together like regeneration moment that's really interesting and also probably hurts really bad it's on some like kenny from south park shit where like he dies but he feels it every time and then he just like comes to and he's fixed you know what i mean take care of the piss baby piss baby oh they're so pretty oh the little moth ladies are so pretty oh man's is getting faded faded oh Kitty. Oh, it's a, it's, a, <laughs> it's our guy. It's our guy. It's fizzy. Kitty fizzy. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, I love that. I love the inclusion of that because it insinuates that like certain people of status are able to afford custom Fizzerali bots. Oh, that's so good. That's so good. I love it. Also, the use of tiger roars as Val is like being pissed off is really interesting and not at all the animal motif that I expected. Maybe it's just because he's mad and he will sometimes have like other animal motifs in there, like something mothy, like a little fluttery sound or some shit like that. I don't know, but that's a really, really fun. Also, fuck this guy. <laughs> Oh. Um, which whore are we talking about this time? <laughs> Word. Who the hell else would I be talking about? Uh huh. He said me. Did he point at me? I fucking made him. Without me, he's just a bag of meat with some mildly entertaining. He is such a slutty waist. What the hell? He didn't fucking quit. It's worse. He moved. He thinks uh. he can just walk in here, work, and then go home somewhere else. I mean. Fucking believe that. Wow! <laughs> Angel is living with 
Christopher's daughter now? You're that bitch, Chalky Chandler. Chalky Chandler? Which of these make me the stinkiest? <laughs> what are you the doing pink now? one, in my opinion. You're not going over there. <gasps> Did he just try to hypnotize Val? I'm gonna fuck everyone in that rancid shithole, I swear uh, to God. Val. <laughs> oh, oh, that itched my brain in such a brilliant way. I have like a nice headset and it's just like in my head, in my entire noggin. That just like rattled every wrinkle in my brain. Mm. <laughs> uh, I hate Vox, but I love Vox, but I hate Vox, but I love Vox. I feel like of all of them, Vox seems like, although he's a manipulative hypnosis using motherfucker, I feel like he has the most likely chance of being redeemed by the end of all of this but i feel like if the v's are going to try to be redeemed in some sense that val would be the one to be too proud to do it and therefore his downfall would approach with the angels killing him think about it our brand is perfection now, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. chasing whores around town will do for our image uh, that's true fuck it up right Didn't the little ding 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 control <laughs> your employees no exactly and hey you still have him under contract he isn't going anywhere so true so you should do nothing great idea oh my goodness why they pay you the big bucks I am in love with the fact that Val is a fucking idiot and he's just like full of anger. He's just a brutish guy that all he wants to do is fuck people over and kill people. And Vox is actually the brains of the operation, which does check out to the fact that Vox is a computeristic looking motherfucker. I wonder what they were like in the real world before they died. I could probably take a shot in the dark and say that Val was a pimp and pimps do what pimps do and that Vox was probably like a hacker of some kind, but that's really interesting that they have this dynamic. I was fully expecting Val to be a little bit more troublingly intelligent, but it seems to be the opposite, which I do appreciate. I really wanted to shoot someone. Well, Aww. I'll have the lowest earners this time. Oh, you know me too well. Ah. <laughs> Yuck. You know, Ooh, the hearts in his smoke. The only one spending time at this ratty hotel with the devil's princessa. Oh, oh. There. someone who owes you money. <laughs> someone who owes Alistair. The radio demon is there. Oh, oh, that struck a nerve. Alistair came back, and he is with Lucifer's daughter. And oh God! The first fucking thing you told me. <gasps> Killing Alistair is your kink. When he said that is your kink, I love that. I love this. Ooh, I love that Alistair being on this security camera is ruining the camera because in the first episode, he's like, I have a face for radio. And the fact that he is able to, without even, as far as we know, knowing that he's being recorded, just contort the video feed is so cool. I also like that on the sign it says now playing has been hotel because we are oh god his eyeballs oh for another forgettable experience wow that's fucked oh god there he goes i remember that explosion from the trailer Bye bye. We need your help. We need you to do your job. We need a wall. Yeah. Can't let my new project fall into disrepair already. What would the paper say? Uh. Oh yeah. Oh, Angel. Laid back jazz. I love you, a man with a giant tool. Uh. Uh. Worse as a guy. And he's not even paying. Oh, Val. Oh, he's upsetty spaghetti. Oh, the music. Oh, are we going to get a song? Give me a song. Give me a song. Give me, 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 give me. Oh, give me. Yes. Ooh, the little sea creatures. Uh. Oh, 
all the drips on his mouth. Oh my god. Holy shit. Oh my goodness, this is so fucking sick, bro. This is so fucking sick. What in the Blitz Commission artwork is that? <laughs> Probably smelly. He's a furry. He's dumb hair. He's a triangle ass. He's a lame dildo stick. <laughs> Unremarkable loser back from fucking off. So the radio guy's back. I don't think you noticed. I didn't at first. I was too busy being much more interesting and we'll find out. <laughs> and being an interesting and important person, but fuck it, news is slow today, I guess. I'm totally not worried about this guy and neither should you, I imagine is what it says. Girls hoof feet, don't you talk about our man's feet. We love his little hoof feet. Clickety clackety motherfucker. Oh shit! The fuck, Alistair Mug? <laughs> Obey and pray. Oh my god! Bro, this is so sick. I'm jamming. This is a fucking jam. Oh shit. Old crap. Oh, they look so good. Get him. Get him. Bro. Bro. Oh my god. These background characters are so fucking epic, dude. Look at this little sheepy bitch. I love them them so much just like everything the dynamic and the broad range of what sinners look like just is so fucking fun i love it so so much this is such an epic rap battles of history cartoon rap battles vibe i adore it so much got him the smile the smile from the two of them Not him talking about the tea! Okay, well that's suspicious and interesting that at one point Vox was trying to recruit Alistor into the V's. Or maybe, mayhaps, Vox is the reason why the V's is even together in the first place and he was initially trying to get Alistor in it as well, but then couldn't get him and then had to... <gasps> what if he had to settle for Valentino? Hmm? Because I really feel like of the three of them, Valentino brings like the least to the table. It seems like he causes more frustration for Velvet and Vox than anything else. Wah! Oh, I want to learn more. Oh God, he's glitching. Ooh, the vibe change. Oh, I thought that blackout was going to be a result of the angels, but it was Vox being a silly little guy. Let's begin. Oh my gosh, I, I love this man. You wish that I stayed gone. Oh, he's so evil. When I'm done. Oh my gosh, the power. Oh my god, he looks so cool. <laughs> the X on his forehead. <laughs> that laugh. Fuck. Oh, Vox. We have a problem. Alistair is getting close to a little dude, dude, I can't. I can't. No deal has ever struck between Lucifer's brat and that smiling freak. Gosh, I love the way that his voice contorts. It's such a good character design. Did he just put glue on his gun? Is he bedazzling his gun with Elmer's glue? 
We interrupt this program to bring you my bullshit. You gremlins know how much I love you and appreciate your support, but what if you wanted to do more and receive perks for it? Well, now you can by becoming a gremster. For the low cost of your soul, $4.99 per month, you can help support the channel and get access to fun stuff like custom emotes and loyalty badges designed by yours truly, member-only photo and status updates, got them seeky secrets, additional weight on upcoming RNs. If you have something that you really, really want me to watch or you want to take part of the gremster only polls that I have to sift through some of these options, then make sure to click that join button. In addition to all that, you also get member shout outs and priority replies to comments. Oh, and of course, don't forget to check out the merch link in the description below to see all of the wonderful designs from mugs to sweaters to stickers to pillowcases. I got it all for y'all and it's all drawn and arranged by me so you'll be supporting the artist directly. Thank you. And now back to your regularly scheduled ritual. No. We need someone who little miss bleeding heart would take. Ah, dude, those fucking sharks in the background are so tight. I employ every down under luck loser this side of hell. Who the fuck is left? Valid question. I think I have just the one. Serpentious? Oh man. That's really surprising to be honest. That's actually a good point. I take it back. Oh no. Oh. I come in peace. The peace signs. Maggie, what's the problem? Oh, hello again. I didn't come looking for a fight. Oh, look at the little guy. You're helping people. People who want to be better. <gasps> you heard right. Uh huh. To our home of healing, our resort of restoration. Our Are you fucking nuts? This uh. chump was trying to kill us like literally six hours ago. And now you want to bring him in here to live with us? That is a completely valid criticism, to be honest. I feel like there should be at least a little bit of background check. You know what I mean? Like a little test of some sorts to make sure that this dude isn't isn't just here to be a shithead. I, uh, 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 I want to be on Charlie's side because like benefit of the doubt, he's probably just doing it because what else is he going to do with his time? But also I'm with Angel Dust because I don't think I would let somebody who just tried to kill me a few hours ago live in my hotel if I, if I was in charge. I'm just saying. That seems like I'm kind of inviting unnecessary drama into an already fragile and new dynamic. However, maybe I just have an audience bias because I watched the V's literally set this whole thing up. Absolutely. This place Absolutely. Oh, the little squeaking. The little special. Oh, the eyes. Guess he's not much of a threat without the war machine. That's valid. Or even with the war machine. Oh. Ouch. <laughs> oh no. He looks so sad. To the Has Been Hotel. Oh, don't on it. Thank you. You won't regret this. Uh huh. I give you a week. Tops. That's fair. So, this is the bar. I have a feeling. A uh, high husk. I have a feeling that. Serpentius is gonna turn on the V's. I have a feeling that he's going to be at first completely with them, but as it goes on, he's gonna become attached and sentimental towards our lovely cast in the hotel here. And maybe, just maybe, be the first one to reach redemption once he comes clean about being a spy. Hmm? How's that for a prediction? He's gonna go through all the steps and you're just we're just gonna see him become more and more remorseful that he's not actually here with honest intent. And then once he comes clean, clean and lets them know these things he's going to have his moment where he just like becomes a healthy motherfucker and he ascends to heaven that is my prediction i don't know how long it would take for that to happen but that's what i'm going to predict at least for now who knows it might change later i gave you one here was the last one huh and oh, oh this this is babe you don't have to show them every detail yes you do i'm just so excited to have our first real guest uh what the hell am i then uh <laughs> constantly make us look bad sexually harass the staff and have literally never once tried to improve that's a good that's a good point actually it's just nice to have someone interested for once yeah you were really just here for the free rent babe oh 
Oh, he got sad. The bad boy is back. Never leave me again. We're about 80% sure she's harmless. And <laughs> we have Oh, uh Alistair, our gracious facility manager. Shout outs. <laughs> the little finger wave. Oh man. Oh man. How to apologize. The first step to becoming a better person is to admit when you are wrong. So true. So true. Serpentius is somebody who really appreciates style and class. They both have stripes on their suits. They both have an accessory with an eyeball on it that may or may not be alive. Insert hat, insert staff. And they're both silly little guys with sharp yellow teeth. So like they should, by all visual purposes, become buddies, you know? <laughs> Mr. Um, Radio Demon, sir. As you should call him. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I gave him the piece back. Impressed. Aw. Oh, well. <laughs> I thought he was gonna, like, have a moment, but then he was what he is. Look at his little curled up tail. Oh my. My name's Serpentius. I like to build, and despite my stupid egg voice, I think I'm very skilled. Ah, that was so fun. This is stupid. Angel. Come on, Angel. Stop being a little booty. You're sober for this. Well, get used to it and learn how to play. This is going to be your whole day. <laughs> Ah, oh, ah, oh, the moment, the moment. I'm so excited. The bloodied coat. Why he look like that? It's great, right? Keep going. Oh my goodness. Ah, the eyes, the eyes, the eyes. I can't. Why they make my man look like that? <laughs> goodness it's so funny oh man oh look at the script the script has like little smiley face that looks like charlie and like the stars and everything that's so funny oh my goodness the attention to detail in this show and in hell of a boss always amaze me you look like a kid who could use some devil's, devil's dandruff <laughs> what Not me. angel actually knowing what any drugs are Oh yeah, you're so cool right now. Crackhead. <laughs> the crackhead. Oh, brother in gaming. What are you doing to our poor guy? <laughs> the cool thing here is to say no to drugs. There you go. If you'll excuse me, I'm off to not have sexual intercourse. <laughs> <coughs> I'm gonna die. Oh, my lanta. Well, Penches, at this rate, you'll be redeemed in no time. Aw, Angel. I'm going to bed. Aw, he's sad. Proud of you, Sir Penches. That was amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Aw, my little heart. <gasps> Nugget. Oh, don't call him back. Angel, baby, come home. I can't wait for the dynamic whiplash of these voicemails. Oh my gosh. Oh. Trash like you doesn't change. Oh God. Soon, if anybody ever, and I mean ever, fucking talks to you like that, 
you get as far the fuck away from that person as you can because you are a human fucking being and you deserve respect and you deserve for somebody to treat you with the gentleness and love that you deserve and not to reduce you to nothing more than an ailment that you suffer from <sighs> sorry got a little real right there for a second Sorry, not now fat nuggets oh fat nuggets our little guy Ooh. Was that the little key cat? Oh, it's him. You slippery little shit. Yeah, get him. You working for the V's? I fucking knew. The way that he covers the camera with his little cloak thing. Hood. Horbug. Horbug? Get him. Ooh, get him. I can't wait for everybody to completely misrepresent this situation by thinking Angel Dust is the issue. Ooh. That's so cool. He has the ability to do a little hypnosis too. Oh no. Where'd the camera go? I love the nightgown on Vaggy. Oh man. Oh man. Mom, pick me up. I'm scared. Oh no. Vaggy, you <laughs> chill. Oh, look at sleepy Charlie. Oh, his eyes. Oh. Spoken straight from the core. The path to forgiveness is a twisting trail of heart. Oh, wait, this is so sweet. Her hair is fucking long. She gets it from Mama. Who could forgive a dirt bag like me? I I'm honestly really grateful that they didn't turn on Angel. Can't we just kill him? The guns! I will never not love how violently hand in hand Vaggy and Angel Dust are. Like, Vaggy's already one to jump directly into physical conflict to protect what she holds dear. And then Angel, meanwhile, is a little bit jealous of Serpentius and also is a bottle in. So <laughs> you love to see it. Wait, I'm gonna cry. The dramatic ass bitch. I love the angel and Baggy are on the same page. This also happened way faster than I thought it would, so I don't think he's gonna be redeemed. <laughs> like, right now. That song is so pretty and so sweet. Like, I love that Charlie has so much love in her heart that she's able to extend that to Serpentius and undoubtedly any other demon that rolls in these doors. The gentleness of the melody for this song was very pretty and it just is so heartwarming. I love the concept of it. Aw, he's not a bad boy anymore. Too much. Let's get some rest. Did you take the camera out? Oh. You'll have to try harder than that next time, old pal. I love that silly little deer guy. <laughs> Ah, not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet. 
This episode was so fun and so silly. I loved it very, very much. I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of a serpentious, not a hater necessarily, but I didn't really care for him. He wasn't one of my favorites. He was kind of forgettable for me, which I guess is kind of the point a tiny bit, but I really, really appreciate the miniature growth arc that we saw with him just now and how he's really just like trying to establish himself, but because of his circumstances, he's usually just like seen as weak and not really worthwhile at all. I do appreciate that they gave him a second chance. I think that's really important. I really respect that Charlie and Vaggie didn't just like immediately side with him because they were so proud of him. He made so much progress. He's our first guy, da 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 da. And the angel was still taken to heart with his proof and evidence that there was spying going on. Although I'm a little sad that they didn't quite recognize Angel's hurt at all and there was no apology situation on that regard. There was no comfort given to Angel. I think he really deserves that at this point because the, he's just, he's so sad. He's been around for a while and even though he's kind of a sarcastic booty hole, that it doesn't make him any less of a person. Like he still cares about the cause, at least a little bit. I'm sure there's a part of him that even though he talks shit about it sometimes, he still wants it to be true because how amazing would it be that somebody who likely just was born into a life that was really difficult for them to escape the sin of, i.e. being in a mafia family and being born into that lifestyle when he was in the real world, having an opportunity for him to prove that he could have been something better than that if he was given the tools and the resources to do so is really, really cool. I really have enjoyed these characters. The background characters are all so fun. The introduction to Velvet is really fun. I know I've seen some stuff with Vox and Val in it already, but actually having official shit from them in the show is really, really fun. I enjoy it a lot. I hate them, but you love to hate them, you know? Ah, get out of here, get out of here. <laughs> Oh, and the display of the magical abilities and supernatural powers that some of these characters have is so fucking cool. It's very hype and I adore it very, very much. I cannot wait to see what else the other characters have to offer in terms of their true raw abilities. Something interesting that I didn't consider before is that the characters that are in hell are likely from a time before video became popularized in the way that Vox is trying to use it. So they're probably significantly drawn to radio because it's what's familiar to them. The radio has been around for way longer than video ever has. And so more people have lived and died with radio in their lives than people who have lived and died with like TV in their lives. I think that's a really interesting uh, consideration for why so many people were flocking towards the radio. That is all the time I have for this episode today. I had fun hanging out with you. I hope you had fun hanging out with me. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, all the things that YouTubers ask you to do. You've been here before. You know how this works. Have a fantastic day, you freaky fly babies. What you see isn't always what you get. Mwah! <laughs>